Hello again, I'm Robin Vogels from Personnel Relocations. I'm here to answer some frequently asked questions in the hope that it might also help you if you're watching this video. Um, sometimes people's questions can resonate with you. It might be something that you've also been thinking about. So I answer all these questions in the Plan for Australia information group. Do subscribe if you're watching this somewhere else. Actually, it's not a subscription. It's a Facebook page. So do join the group Plan for Australia Information Centre. And I put out these videos every week in an effort to try and help those that are helping themselves to move to Australia. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about moving with children and some of the unseen lessons that children learn. Now, for those of you that don't know, I've written a book um, co-author on a book, Your DIY Move Guide to Australia. This is available on Amazon in a paperback and an ebook version. And to answer today's question, I'm going to page 59. So the book has 16 chapters. It's 300 pages. It is a wealth of information that can really save you thousands. But on page 59, we start the chapter five with moving with children. And I just wanted to read a little bit of what we've got here, because that is definitely some of the unseen lessons that you encounter um, or that your children can experience during a move to Australia. So people who have to adapt to a new environment develop skills as a natural instinct to survive. Reading body language is one of those skills. And even though you're moving to a country where you probably still speak the language, there is a whole new environment around you. And you become more observant because you're having to learn everything new. This can be signage. It could be parking signs. It could be menus. It could be ingredients on a tin can of, can of food. But that learning curve in the first few weeks is very, very steep and quick. And there's a lot of decisions you need to make during that time. But this also helps you and will certainly help your children. So as I go on to say in the book, these are unseen lessons your children will be learning. It's not only enriching their lives, but makes them more, in, I can't even speak, empath empathic. <laughs> it makes them more self-aware and empathetic. I still don't know if I've said that right. Anyway, that's me. Um, you know what I mean, though. It makes them more aware of other people. Um, children who've moved countries make friends so much more easily because they've refined their interpersonal skills and not to mention the skills that they're developing later in life. So they will be able to assess situations a lot quicker, assess people, assess that body language, for example, and make friends a lot quicker. So I hope that's helped you, despite me not being able to pronounce a word in my own book, um, empathetic. But yes, there are definitely a lot more unseen lessons that there are with children. And if you're interested in the in the topic in, in more detail, I highly recommend a book by Ruth Van Raken, which is Third Culture Kids. We know them as TCKs and there's also TCK adults. But Ruth Van Raken is an absolute expert in this field. She has been writing books and sharing her information for decades now. Um, and she explains it as children being almost like a chameleon. OK, so they have to get into that new situation. They assess it. They adjust. They reassess. They adjust. And that helps them refine their personality and interpersonal skills. If you have a question for me, I'd love to hear from you. You can email it at the address on your screen now. And if you're interested in the book, um, we will put a link in the comments below. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.